All right, it's time for some more Iron Helm. Today we are going to play with some expansion content. I am going to go ahead and add in the Loot and Lore expansion. You can see that the uh, print and play version is only $2 over at PMP Arcade, or the uh, professionally created version from the Game Crafter for $8, as well as the Fanny Pack, which is $3 and $8, okay? So uh, basically these just add more. They are my favorite kind of expansions. And in those little packs of cards, it's like if you're buying a um, maybe a pack of magic cards or baseball cards or what have you. They're just little packs of cards. You tear them open, there's a stack of cards in there, and one instruction card each. So the first one here, the Loot and Lore Pack, uh, this is just an expansion to the base game to complement the core game. It's just more. There's nothing, nothing that I can say bad about more. I love it. So again, I think these are the two expansions that you just buy Sight unseen immediately. I, I really do. I think that just adding more cards to the base game is, is good, and you should just buy those two and get into the adventure packs later. If you get into the adventure packs, you're going to have this guy, right? So you're going to want to flip this over and read the Lonely Troll instructions. Basically, this is what happens between the adventures and the steps you have to take before going on a level 2 or 3 adventure. And if you have the Iron Chest, there is a level 4 adventure to take on. There are, and I think there's three of each, by the way. I think there's three level 2 adventures, three level 3 adventures. So you can just mix them up however you want, right? So you do this level 1. This is, this is base game is actually level 1. If you have adventure packs, then you play... Um, uh, any one of the level twos you want, then you try a level three, and then if you have it in the Iron Chest expansion, there is a level four, the Spire of Zogar, I think it's called. And then this expansion is called the Fanny Pack. There's more awesome Jason Glover art on the back of the uh, setup card there. This one's a little different, though. I mean, the idea is the same. It's just more. So again, I strongly recommend buying this just sight unseen because it just adds more characters, more trappings, more skills, more enemies, more loot, more potions, more plot cards. <laughs> no more bosses, though. <laughs> uh, and, and the, the dungeon deck stays the same. Uh, so the Fanny Pack is a booster pack for Iron Helm meant to complement the base game. It can also be used with any other expansion pack to enhance your experience. This is why it's just you buy it and you always play with it. It has that little icon on the top if you ever, for whatever reason, want to take those uh, cards out. This one looks like a door knocker, just in case you're curious. Uh, maybe it's the on the door to the Lonely Troll Inn or something. The best part of this booster pack, the Fanny Pack, is that the majority of the content was created by fans of the game, and that is quite special. That is why it is called the Fanny Pack. Special thanks to those fans of Iron Helm for their amazingly creative contributions. So that is that is awesome, and it's just it's great. I, I really like. Jason Glover is an amazing person to 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 see in the game space because this isn't his primary job, right? This isn't what he does, and yet the man is a wizard when it comes to art, first of all, um, and then his game designs are fantastic, so it's just crazy to me that he doesn't make a living as a game designer and or artist. He has a completely different, you know, like, day job. It's, it's wild. At, at night, he becomes this, like, gaming superhero. It's unbelievable. Uh, so what we're going to do is I wanted to play characters uh, this time around that were not from the base game. And look how many we have now. Right? I have a little graveyard up here. Here's Theon, here's Sortab, um, and then here are, look at all these characters we have now, adding just those two expansions in, right? So there's, again, no reason why you wouldn't want to have these expansions. They just add so much more to an already amazing, look at that, Grimwall, there he is. Uh, the guy in the box, right? Isn't that him, right? That is... <laughs> all right, so, um, and this time I chose randomly, believe it or not. And we wound up with this character. In fact, I'll tell you why you can believe it. Never in a million years would I pick this character, okay? <laughs> uh, I have never been the, the monk guy. Never. Uh, so this guy has a single item. He starts with a new item called the Dusk Shroom. Discard to gain two energy and two health. So that's all we have is a mushroom. Wow. And then our skill, which is weird. He's a mind character, but his skill is an agility skill, which is new, which is martial arts. So I don't think that's a typo. I just think that's just the way it is. Okay. You do not need a hand weapon to roll dice in combat. That's awesome. Our, our, we, our fists are just lethal weapons. Your bare fisted attacks deal two damage instead of one damage in combat, which is also amazing. Now, uh, well, I know you can't see it now because I took it away. We have 11 hit points. We have 13 energy, which is loads of energy. In fact, I think I counted that wrong now that I see it again. Four, five, three, 
That's five right there. Five out of 11. So I have two more coming towards me. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, almost all of the energy in the game. I have 11 hit points. I should probably double check that as well. And then uh, two rations, which we start with, which is nice. Then move these over. Yeah, two rations and two gold. Now I'm going to use my two gold to go ahead and purchase the robes. I think I liked the robes that Faeon had so much just because we could avoid combat. Uh, you know, in a sticky situation if we didn't want to get into a fight, um, a, uh, a skirmish or whatever. So we're going to go ahead and play, I think, in this setup is our best bet. So let's uh, let's get all these shuffled up. And uh, actually, they're, they should already be shuffled, but I'm going to go ahead and stop real quick, take a fast break, and I'll be right back. All right, who's ready to die in the dungeon? Uh, this game is brutal. Let me tell you, this is a game I'll probably never win on camera, but, uh, you know, it's really more just about seeing how games play. So if you buy it, you know exactly what you're in for, right? Sometimes you're going to have, you know, rounds that last an hour and you're just killing it. And sometimes you're going to die in five minutes because you made, you know, one too many bad decisions on the same floor of the dungeon. And that's what happens. So we've got our starting gear here, right? Uh, I spent our two gold on robes. We have just... <laughs> We're going in with a with a blindfold on, a mushroom, and at least we're not naked now because we decided to spend some money on some robes. So yeah, let's just have at it, Mr. Martial Arts. A skirmish to start. Now because we have the robe, I'm kind of okay with flipping over more cards, even though I know five of these 18 cards or 16 cards are skirmishes. Ooh, ooh. I'm not entirely sure I've ever seen the altar as its second thing before. I get the choice, right? So I'm not poisoned, but I can gain a blessing token. I like it. Okay, I always just take it because it's the first thing that I never end up seeing it. That was that was a worthy gamble there. An ambush. Now I think we should take the ambushes, right? Because this is our best bet at winning a combat, and winning combats are how we get more skills. You catch your foe by surprise and gain the upper hand. Draw an enemy card, ignore their initial damage, add the dungeon level to their health. So this plus one, oh good, whatever it is now has seven hit points. It's a spider, huh? So here probably comes some poison, here's the seven. What have we got here? Every time the giant spider successfully hits, your next attack costs an extra energy to execute. So not poison, but acts like poison. That's kind of neat. That was a smart design decision. All right, subverted my expectations. <laughs> um, so let's roll, let's, let's do two dice. Let's do two energy. 2d6 to do 7 damage, because I don't want... I mean, if this just gets harder, the longer this fight goes, draws out and costs more energy. So let's just see if we can get a 7 on 2 Oh, we got it. No matter what this one does, we got a 7, right? So there it is. 10. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, no loot. Worthless. All right. <laughs> Next up, we have... Ooh, another ambush. Um, okay. I mean, we may as well press it, right? 6 hit points for whatever this guy is. I almost put this out here. Uh, so this guy is an undead warrior. We have nothing special. Uh, you lose one blessing with initial damage, so we don't have to worry about that. Six hit points, I feel like maybe just one energy? Nah, yeah, let's just do one energy and, and hopefully just roll a six and get this over with. Or at least a four, come on. Don't roll a three. Oh, that was even worse, a two. Okay, so it's down to four. The problem is, is I wanted to be able to, to, to freebie it, right? Uh, so it's going to hit me for, oh my god, three plus one. So it's going to hit me for four damage. Wow. All right. And now I guess we have no choice but to use another energy. Let's try to roll. There it is. There's the four we needed. All right. There we go. Dead, dead, dead. Uh, at least this guy has some loot for us. He has one gold and one treasure. A healing potion. Okay, that's good. Um, what is this? This is an ice and an undead guy. Okay, so we have and a healing potion is really good for us. All right. Okay. In fact, you know what else is good too? Is I'm going to eat the dusk mushroom right now. Like, why would I not, right? It gives us two hit points. What does that say? Gain two energy and two health. And we just got hit real hard, so we may as well. I mean, this is floor one and we're getting wrecked. Uh, okay, so here we go. Two more cards. What have we got here? I was going to say, it better be another ambush. That'd be amazing. Uh, let's just see what the second card is, right? So we're going to bypass the, the skirmish, and we're going to go to the second card. It is a skirmish. I had a funny feeling. There's, there's five of these in there, right? So it's, it's pretty likely. So we're going to go ahead and use our robes. Avoid one skirmish per level. Goodbye, skirmish. 
A clearing. Draw a plot card. Okay. Uh, the chasm. You nearly slip and fall to your death as you as your feet find the edge of a perilous drop off. You hear a, hear a worried voice echo from across the other side of the gap. Help me! The rope bridge broke as I crossed it, and my backpack is still on that side. Please toss it to me. Okay, so you have two options: toss the stranger their pack. You spend a few moments looking for the pack, and once you have it in your hands, you throw it across the divide to the revealed stranger. Lose one energy, gain a blessing token, and move up one on the morality track. I like that. Uh, or two, keep the bag for yourself. You are overtaken by greed and you decide to loot the bag. Gain one ration and one loot card. Move down one on the morality track. Oh, man, I like the loot card, though. So here's the thing. I'm playing this game not to win, but to find a certain card. This is the very first time I've ever played with the Fanny Pack and the Loot and Lore Pack, and I'm trying to find a certain card in here just for fun. Uh, and so I can't say that I'm going to do the bad stuff because it goes completely against what we're doing here. So <laughs> let's go give up one energy, although I'd, I'd love to churn through it. Um, we're not going to. Uh, so then gain a blessing token and go up one on the morality track. So we're at a one morality and we have a single eyeball. Thanks, clearing. And you never know what you're going to find. It's amazing so much variety happens in 16 cards. Speak of the devil, there's a campsite. Uh, so we have the choice to spend one ration to gain three energy or to gain a ration or to lose some poison. So here's the deal. We could gain back all three of the energy that we have lost... But we only have two rations. Oh my god. All right, let's do it. Let's cook the ration. Let's get three energy. That We're maxed out at, 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 at that again. Dang it. I want to use this to get a ration, though. But I guess that's probably just, you know, better having more energy. Uh, oh, we still have... I thought we were done. Nope. We have four cards left. So two more big decisions. There is the other ambush. We got lucky with those. And this is a goblin who then has three hit points. Uh... Okay, so Mr. Goblin here is green, so he doesn't show up quite right, so that's what he looks like. Again, fantastic art. I really love it. I love this art, um, but it just doesn't work well with the green screen over here. So there's Mr. Maybe maybe it's an invisible goblin like I thought. <laughs> uh, so let's do one energy. Basically, just I don't want to get hit. We have too few hit points, so there's one energy. We just need a three or better. We got a six. So we killed this guy. We ambushed him, so he had nothing. Uh, he didn't get to attack, so we get one gold, and we get to draw a loot card, which is a ration. Oh, we have three dead guys now, too. So hold the phone here. We get to do a little leveling up, right? So we're going to take these three. I already know what I want. I want uh, that new skill for mind. I think it's right here, treasure hunter, because look at this. I saw that when I was trying to get all this squared away. Whenever you gain a gold coin for defeating an enemy, you also gain one energy, right? So I would have just gained an energy had I had this before. That's a fantastic skill. This is pretty great too, right? Gain two energy. Well, okay. Uh, so that's this. So we have one last decision to make. What did the survey say? It's a skirmish. So it's either another skirmish where it gets four more hit points or something else. So let's just take the skirmish. Let's just deal with it. Let's just see for fun what we're not picking. Ooh, the labyrinth. Okay, so I think we did make the right call. Uh, so we got uh, number one there. Draw an enemy card and add the dungeon level plus two. Jeez, so three. So, oh, what? Didn't we just fight this guy? Did I screw up? No, there's two goblins in here. How funny. I legitimately didn't know that. Are they the same? They are. Wow. Okay. Well, you learn something every day, I guess. All right. So, uh, what did it say now? <laughs> this is uh, the first skirmish. Draw an enemy card and add the dungeon level, which is one still, plus two. So, three. So, this one has five hit points, huh? Um, and he gets to strike first. What a jerk. And he's plus one damage. So, he is going to roll. Oh, probably. He's going to just wreck me, probably. Yeah. No, he only hit me for two. Still, I don't like getting hurt. He hit me for two, so we're going to spend one energy. We need a five on that? <laughs> <laughs> Worthless. So it gets to attack again at plus one. So it got a, a two damage again. Unbelievable. And so we're going we're gonna to try it again. One energy. 
There it is. Okay, so we managed to finally kill this goblin who gave us a run for our money. Uh, so we get uh, one coin, but because we have Treasure Hunter, we gain an energy now. Um, oh, and a loot card. The heck is this? This is new, too. Undead, undeath potion, not undead potion. Discard to destroy any undead foe with five or less base health. Neat. Or discard to make any enemy weak to undead attacks. Oh. One, two, three, four. We're not carrying much here. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, is that it? That's it. We are done with this place. So what we have to do is spend a ration, right? We gain an energy for that. We move down to the second floor. These get shuffled up. Poison would then multiply, but we're not poisoned, thankfully. Okay. Uh, so then we have to draw a plot card. So let's have that up on the screen. And then let's just make sure I didn't forget anything. Shuffle the deck. Eat a ration. Poison. Advance your pawn. Plot card. Nope, we're good. Okay. Uh, you notice a strange rock protruding from the wall. You run your hand across it, and suddenly the ground begins to shake. You stumble to the ground as dust fills the air. When you arise, you notice a secret passageway where there was once wall. Draw another... This is like falling through the floor in Mini Rogue, right? Draw another plot card. Oh, wait, that means we have to resolve that, too? Oh, God. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so we have one dead goblin and, and only two eyeballs so far because we have uh, these two. All right, so another plot card. This is a new one. The Looking Glass. As you approach the clearing, you see another walking in your direction. Uh, you quickly realize you are gazing into a mirror that covers an entire wall. You put your hand to it, and your hand passes, uh, pushes through. Okay. You slowly pass into the mirror and feel a strange breeze pass you by. Roll d6 and resolve. You come through the other side, uh, are face-to-face -face with an enemy, draw and resolve an enemy card. You come through the other side and feel slightly larger. You may add one to your max encumbrance. That's, I mean, always good. Discard the next four cards in the dungeon deck without looking at them. If in between levels, discard the first four cards of the next level. That'd be great if we could choose the cards to remove. Uh, just, uh, then ignore the reflective wall. You climb over some jagged rocks and find an exit, lose one energy. Um, <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna lose the energy. I actually don't care for any of the options on that card other than the encumbrance, which what, what are the odds of that happening? Pretty slim, right? Okay, so we have three, four, five eyeballs already. Amazing. All right, so we're on level two. So let's see what we got here. So... Well, we either lose three hit points to the labyrinth or we draw the next card. I say we draw the next card. Dang, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, so since I don't want to deal with it, we're going to throw the robes down to avoid the skirmish. It's a little early to, to do that, but, you know, at least we know the, uh, the, the labyrinth, which I hate is out of there. Ooh, ambush. Okay. So, uh, this is add the dungeon level to their health, so this... What the heck? If resolving an ambush card that was drawn as the first card... Wait, it was. You avoid the pit trap! In all other cases, you lose d6 minus... Holy smokes! <laughs> uh, so this doesn't have a thing on it, so I think we just... we. Put, I don't think we keep it as a a victory, because it doesn't have like a like a weakness it's a trap i don't think you bring a trap back as a trophy right essentially so i think i think this gets discarded if not i'm just hurting myself here wow how weird <laughs> i didn't even know there were traps in here oh my favorite place the mushroom grove gain one ration i can never say no to the mushroom grove the clearing draw a plot card you know what i'm taking it what do we got here bam the old woman you hear a, uh, a moaning sound from the shadows and discover a lost old woman. She is frail and mutters on about something, about losing something in the darkness. Help her escape. I'm blind, lady. Okay, I've got my, my I got a blindfold on. Uh, you spend a good a deal of time working your way back out of the dungeon with the woman. Soon you're at the entrance and she turns to you and blesses you before leaving. Lose one ration and one energy, but we gain a blessing token. Yeah, okay, so one energy and a ration. That's brutal, though. That's brutal because we're, that's going to cause us to lose three hit points down the line, right? But we gain a blessing token, and we are now at morality level two. I guess that's good. Otherwise, we leave her alone, lo go lose a morality, and gain one random treasure card. Ugh. 
There's a card I'm looking for in here. So that's two. So that gives us five, six, seven. Oh, man. Interesting. Okay. <sighs> Hold on. I have to think real quick. We have how many hit points? Three, four, five. If I drink a health potion, we can go back to maximum, right? So that's six. No, that's four. I'm sorry. Four, not six. <laughs> I got mini rogue on the brain. Okay, so so four. So that gives us what now? Three, four, four. So we're at nine hit points. Our max is 11, and we could still gain three energy. We're only at 10. Yeah, so we could gain three energy. We can discard this ration. I believe, can this ration be used? At, I think it's a ration. It's just like a super ration. So I think we can. We, we should save that for going down a floor and use this as a ration because I believe it's just a ration, I think. I think. Uh-oh. Uh I have done something wrong here. What happened? So we had those two cards, these two cards, those two cards, those two cards. So I never drew a second card, I think. Right? So there should be an odd number here if I screwed this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have whatever those are. <laughs> Did I stop like halfway and then like start talking about whatever? Uh, okay. Whoosh. The campsite. So um, I guess we have to take the ration. Oh, we're not supposed to see what the card is. I'm sorry. Ah, okay. Boom. Arrow trap. Gain one poison. I do not like being poisoned. Um, one poison is not the end of the world, though. But it does work counter to your hit points, right? So if I had five poison and six hit points, essentially, if I get hit for one more damage, I die. And we don't have a lot of hit points, but I can't, I can't afford the ambush. So maybe we just take the poison token. Just, you know what? Bad luck happens. It's just sometimes, right? Okay. Ambush. Good, good, good. You're on our side this time. I've never seen this before. An assassin. What does it say? Draw an enemy card, ignore. At the dungeon level two. Okay, so this guy has six hit points before I read his horrendous bu uh, little bit here. If resolving an ambush card that was drawn as the second card... This was the first card. The assassin gets to inflict initial damage twice. That would ruin you right there. Like, this could have been end game. Holy smokes. Okay. Six hit points. We're going to roll... Do we do one and hope for the six? No way, because this guy... Well, this guy only does plus one. I haven't been rolling well today, though. Let's just try it. Let's just do one. Four. Okay, so he's... Oh, that's good enough. He's down to two. That's good enough for me. So he's down to two hit points, so he gets to roll, and he's only a plus one. I don't have any armor, though. I don't have any... Oh, my God, and he still managed to hit me for six. Are you serious? Wow, there goes six hit points. I'm down to three hit points, but I have one poison, remember? So we're going to lose because of that dumb decision. I punch him in the face and kill him. We gain one gold and one energy because of Treasure Hunter. Because of that one decision, we're going to lose, and one loot. It's going to say, watch this be a mimic. Uh, so I have messed up my stuff here. So we have an assassin. Oh, well, that's it. We have an assassin. Oh, and a goblin. Okay. So we're not ready for a level up yet. And we have three, five, six, seven. Oh, my gosh. We found this. Uh, two, three, four, five. So we can still carry it. Now, this is better than just our fists for just everyday combat in case we run across... Oh, this is... Yeah, this is Ice Hack. Uh, in case we run across an enemy uh, that is weak to frost, right? So we may as well equip it since we can afford it. I can't believe how bad that was. And we, we already blew our healing potion. Do we have a way to heal? No, we don't. <sighs> Skirmish. Okay, so... We can't get out of it, so I think our best bet is just to deal with it. So we're going to take whatever this is. Just for fun, what did we pass? Oh, the merchant. I have so much money. Okay, so we're going to pass on, the, on the, the merchant, and we're going to do the level one skirmish. Draw an enemy card, add the dungeon level plus two to their health, so plus four. Oh my god, this guy has six hit points, and he attacks first. Zombies do not inflict initial damage. No, you don't. <laughs> um, again, we could die if we take even two points of damage, so we have to kill this guy. So I'm going to use two to roll two. I mean, I don't have a choice. I do not have a choice here. There's seven damage, just barely enough to kill. We need more hit points. Uh, we get one loot for this guy. Oh, and he lets us level up. One loot. Greedy Zweihander. You may add an additional die to your attack roll at the cost of one gold. 
Okay. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can carry it. I think I'm gonna keep. Um, oh yeah, this thing did. Uh, oh no, it's weak to frost. Okay. Um, well, let's let's look at God. I mean, I'm gonna die. Let's look at the skills because we could level up now before we go down, right? I mean, we have the choice here. We could take herbalism plus one energy when you're at a campsite. Drinking an antidote will cure all poison. Whenever you gain energy, you may convert it into health. Let's take that, because we are screwed, right? So divinity, that seems like it'll work really well with treasure hunter, as a matter of fact. So let's see here. So that's our three other enemies. All right, so we should have six bodies here and a trap. Yep. Okay, and so we have three, four, five, six, seven. So if this is a three that we draw, we're, we're, we're done for, right? Uh, we need to spend a ration. That's going to give us one of these. We only have three hit points. We do not gain another poison. Um, oh my goodness. This is awful. You know, we may as well eat our ration before we go down to for plus two energy. That's a loot card. Just to make sure that we're in the best shape we can possibly be in before we... Yeah, okay. So I think I did all that. I did not shuffle. I did not move this to floor three, and I have not drawn a plot card yet, right? Right. It's only two. Okay, the Traveler, a cloaked figure, approaches you. You place your hand on your weapon, fearing a conflict. However, the old man reveals himself as a cleric and makes a gesture of peace. He places his hand on your shoulder and whispers to himself, gain either health or energy equal to your position on the morality track. We are on two, so I'm totally taking two hit points, buddy. So we're up to Five? Yeah. Oh, I mean, we're not in good shape. We need six more hit points somehow. Um, okay, and that was two, right? So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one more eyeball, and it's it's boss time. Okay. <laughs> this is intense. I don't know what else to do. Uh, we need more hit points. That's the end of... Oh, I flipped them both over like an idiot for some reason. Dang it. Hold on. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm nervous now, right? I'm nervous. I don't want to die in here with our five hit points. I'm trying to figure out a way around this, around dying, and I need I need potions, right? We have to heal somehow. We need to get healed. Uh, oops. We need a merchant. We have four gold, three gold, four gold. Yeah, we need a merchant. The merchant would hopefully allow us on level three. It's pretty good, you know, so we might be able to buy some good stuff. Okay, let's see here. Now, we're going to slide them over without looking like an idiot. <sighs> Skirmish. Okay, we're going to flip the second card. It's the merchant. That was dumb luck. All right, three. Two loot and two potions. So, boom, boom. Oh, man, those are all good. Ooh. Ah, this is the card I was looking for. Ah, crud. <laughs> I'm not in a good shape for Okay, so here's the deal. This card right here, right? Like, like, look at the, check out that awesome card, right? While the keepsake is in your inventory, you gain two morality. The idea behind this was it felt like morality was not uh, as front and center as it could have been in the game, right? Everything is combat-based and, and damage and, and, and energy-based and rations, right? It seemed like morality was a really cool thing. And uh, this, this card was designed, you know, with that in mind, right? So, you know, how do you, how do you explain picking up this thing and finding something for, you know, to, uh, to give you plus two morality. So the idea is this, is like, what if, what if you're adventurous from a town where there was a story about a little kid that was, uh, you know, disappeared in the night and it was always believed that goblins took it away into its cave or whatever. Um, and then you're in here and you find this thing. So now you know the end of the story, you know, or what if, you know, whatever the case, something like that, that where it was like, this was a sentimental item. This was, this was a little kid's uh, stuffy, they're, 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 they're teddy bear, they're stuffed animal, whatever you want to call it, you know, and, and, and you find this in there and it takes up a, a weight. It takes up a, a, you know, you have to carry it, but you gain two morality because you can bring this back out to the town and say, you know, Hey, I, 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 I know what happened, you know? So that was the idea behind this card. Um, okay. So we have four gold, one, two, three, four. And like, I'm leaning heavy in on this, right? Um, so the Undeath Potion, let's sell it, right? We can sell that for one gold. What is this, loot? That gives us five gold. I'm trying to figure out a way to make this happen, right? Okay, and if we sell, whoa. <laughs> um, if we sell the Greedy Zweihander, for, God, for one gold, 
That gives us six gold. So we can purchase for three, one, and two. That's six gold. That would give us one, two, three, four, five, six on our inventory. We can't afford the ice shard potion, but that costs all of our six money, and it's worth it. And then we go from two to four because we have ta -ta -da -da, the keepsake. Um, and then we're going we, to... Do we drink this just like right now? Do we drink this just like right now? Uh, what do we have for hit points? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think so, right? So we drink this right now. And we go plus four. One, two, three, four. So we're at nine hit points. Um, and now we have this, this ring as well. This ring is fantastic for avoiding bad stuff, right? Okay. Ambush. Let's go ahead and take it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait a second. Your foe ca uh, no. You catch your foe by surprise and gain the upper hand. Draw an enemy card and ignore their initial damage. Add the dungeon level to their health. We're on floor three, so this thing has four hit points. Okay. Um, I think we still need a die for that, though. Is he weak to fire? That's a bummer. Okay, so there it is. We need a four. Come on. Kill this jerk. A four. Nice. Okay, so we killed it in one hit. Um, so that's going to give us a gold. And now this is amazing, right? Because remember, we have... This was no accident. We have Treasure Hunter. Whenever you gain a gold for defeating an enemy, you also gain one energy. Divinity says whenever you gain an energy, you may convert it into health. You gain two blessings when you choose to pray at the altar. So do we take a health? I think so. Right, so we have... We have what, three? I know I just counted, right? That's five. You know, that would help me if I make like a stack of five. And then this is three, four, and now we have five more. So we're at 10 out of 11 health. That's awesome. Okay, and we got one, one dead body there. All right, not bad. Okay. The labyrinth can go away. I hate this place. So we're gonna draw the second card, which is I don't think I've ever seen the Mushroom Grove as the second place, I feel like. Hot dang, look at that. Plus two rations, the exact opposite <laughs> of the, uh, the, lab the, yeah, the Labyrinth. Wow, okay. Feeling better now. <gasps> Another ambush. Okay, so we just have to take it, right? And we're going to add three hit points to whatever this is, so it has five. I feel like we're drawing low-level guys. No, that spider was bad. This was bad. We got lucky with this trap, though, didn't we? Zombies do not inflict initial damage. We got ambush on them anyway. Add the dungeon level to their health three. Play so we have to do five damage. And wait. Oh, it's undead. Dang. <sighs> okay. One more energy. I'm blowing through energy now. All right. We got to do five. We did five. Okay. Dead, dead, dead. And it has one loot item. I'm afraid to draw the loot now, though. Because I know the Mimic is in here and I got the card I wanted. I don't want to fight the Mimic. The Lamp. What is this? Two, three, four, five, six. I'm drawing all light stuff too this time. Once per dungeon level, you may reveal both dungeon cards and choose one. Nice. Now we have... See, don't tell me this game is a complete random fest, right? It's, it's building your character and taking the right gear and everything. I'm still going to lose, mind you. I'm just saying that like, there's a lot of thoughts and effort that goes into what you choose and what you buy. Um, there's, there's a lot of randomness in what you can get. I mean, these are shuffled cards, but like if you play it right, good things can happen. Ooh. Oh, that's the clearing. Okay, so we have a decision to make, right? So we could find out what that is and press on. But then we, 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 we would still have three more turns, and I feel like we're in kind of good shape. We have all this stuff to avoid things, and I think that we're, gonna, we're just going to go handle the boss. Let's, let's see if we can figure this out ahead of time, though, right? So let's just say, so we have two guys unspent, and these six, right? So we know we have... We have this. We have two guys unspent. I'm going to mess up the pile, but I'm going to go ahead and, and that's okay. I don't care. So we know that it's going to be... It's a tie for ice and undead, and I want it to be ice, I think, right? Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, what does it say? Undead beats ice. So it's going to be undead. Okay, so it's going, it's going to be undead because undead beats ice in a tie. So if we know what, what we're looking at, where's the undead guy? That's the stinking lich. 
He steals two energy um, as his initial hit. Man, so we have to make that call right here and now because either, either we take this and just let it happen or we end it. We're in about as good a shape as we can be, right? So let's do this. Let's use the lamp just to see what it is. It's an ambush. Glad we didn't do that. <laughs> right? Once per dungeon level, you may reveal both dungeon cards and choose one. So our better bet is to just choose the clearing. Okay? So we're going to choose the clearing. Here's my discard pile. Uh, draw a plot card. It has two eyeballs, so that's it. So the well. I've never seen this card either. Oh, this is an expansion card. You can see it's from Loot and Lore here. Near the center of the clearing stands an old well. On closer inspection, you notice the well is full of sweet-smelling water. Do you dare take a sip? You're out of your mind, homie. Uh, <laughs> check this out. Gain two poison, gain one poison, gain one blessing. No way. Cured of all poison. Well, oh. no, man. I have to walk away. And the reason is, is we already have one poison on us, which, you know, is bad for our health. So I don't, I don't want to risk it because this guy could one-shot us. So we have to take every opportunity we can to, to fight this guy, right? So we're just going to say no. We're going to pass. That gives us 11, right? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 eyeballs. So we resolve that in the middle of the dungeon. We got attacked. We just did the math on it. Undead beats ice. So here we are. This is the guy we're fighting. Now, the lich and bosses aren't going to get any modifications to their stuff, right? They don't get like uh, extra hit points because we're on floor three or whatever. Um, but what does happen is we go to the boss thing here, determine your foe. So we just did that. We figured out it was going to be this guy uh, because undead beats ice and we had a tie between ice and undead. Divine visit. Moments before you must face off against your vile foe, you will be visited by an angelic being that will allow you to flip over all your blessing tokens that you have gained and reap their rewards. Tokens with red hearts and purple energy icons will garner you health and energy tokens equal to those shown. The green heart allows you to remove all of your poison tokens. Will you now have enough to defeat your final foe? I feel like there should be a question mark there. Um, okay, and you can see there it says, note that they have a set health and typically a powerful special ability. If you lose the battle, you lose the game. Okay, so what do we got? We only have three, so we have health, energy, and health. <laughs> um, okay, so that's, we have what, five and five, so we get one health. I was hoping to remove our poison because we could die in one hit if we get hit for ten damage. Um, and one energy, which we can take as well. Uh, I guess we could or should have eaten these beforehand, but we didn't know we were going to do that. So that's too bad, so sad for us. And there it is. It gets to attack first at plus four. So if this thing... So at best, when the Lich it, it steals two energy... Oh, that sucks. So roll doubles for me, buddy. Dang, so close. So it stole two energy? That's a bummer. Okay, so then this says when the Lich hits with its... Initial attack um, or counter strikes too. Holy crap. Um, okay, so it did one, so it did five damage. There's an entire stack of my hit points gone. Oh no, two, three, four, five. So we have six hit points left. Oh my god. I mean, that was that was the least we could get hit for. That's not going to happen a second time. We're gonna die again because we can't, there's no, we don't have anything doing any like defense for us here, right? Um, okay. So we kind of have no choice. I mean, we, we can't do anything but roll 3d6, right? So let's blow all of our energy, three energy, uh, one, two, three energy. The Zweihander would, would have been a good thing to have too, right? Um, so let's roll 3d6 and somehow we have to do 20 damage. <laughs> Rolling 3d6. Um, it's literally impossible. We're going to lose again. That's unfortunate. Oh, wow. That was a terrible roll too, right? So we did 10 damage. So we cut it in half. So it's down to 10 hit points. That was terrible. So then it attacks me. I need it to miss. If it rolls basically anything... Oh, I die even if it does one damage. Because it's going to be one plus four is five. That leaves me one hit point and I have one poison. So it has to miss or I die again. I die again. It did one damage, right? So one plus four is five damage. One, two, three, four, five. I have one hit point left again, and I died. Because of the poison. They were then equal, and so we died. 
<laughs> I also lost two energy because it hit me. I can't believe it. We lost by one. I was hoping to find this, right? Because that would cure me of my poison. I was hoping that was in there. So we died. So just for fun, if I spent all three of these energies for one last attack, could we do 10 damage? I don't have any way to get out of it, so we're dead. Uh, yep, yeah, we would have won. There's 14 damage. We could have won if we had one more hit point or or less, uh, one less uh, poison. We would have won, but instead, we have fallen again to the Lich. Good run, though, Kiln Olma. And you know what? You had a four on the morality. I can't say that we did poorly. I can say that we certainly did okay, and we, we gave it a valiant effort. We really did, but somehow we never saw we never saw any uh, um, uh, uh, loot that would help us not take damage, right? Like everything, like an iron helm would have helped us. Maybe we, we would have lived, you know. Uh, shield we could have used. Uh, scale armor we could have used. You know what I just realized? And the buckler. There's not a lot of armor uh, and stuff in here, right? Lots of, like, weapons, but very little on the defense, so... Huh. Interesting. I can't help but, like, just think that, that, that maybe priority in here... Well, I mean, but some of the time you don't start with a weapon, you have to buy a weapon, so... Dang, that's a bummer. We did so good, though. I can't believe it. All right, Iron Helm is an absolute blast. I, I have to say thank you so much to Jason Glover for creating this for us to play because the game is amazing. It is so much fun. Um, and so ideally, you know, you see here how much you how much you can get out of this game, how every run is different. The decisions are hard. Uh, it really comes, really, you know, everything is just, you're fighting for your life. It has a real great, like, old school feel to it. The art is amazing. I love this game. It's fantastic. This is Iron Helm uh, from Grey Gnome Games, which is Jason Glover. And thanks for watching. Even though we were unsuccessful, I got the card I wanted to get. That's all that matters to me. Don't forget to like and subscribe down there at the bottom. And remember, games are made for everyone's recreation. So, you know what? Go meet somebody new and show them a board game today. All right? I'll see you next time.